Don't they look good? Don't they look good? <laughs> Just so I can get a wider smile? Bruh, who gonna do that? But he was just like, okay, let's go downstairs. We're gonna eat. You know, we went to a little restaurant and I was just like, how I be able to eat? Like you ain't finished with my mouth. Carving down your gums. Actually, it's carving your gums. I can't imagine it. It just sounds so painful. I ended up finding out I can't drink no wine. Like, As always, I wanna thank you all for tuning in to Everything With Grace. Hence the title of this video, I will be providing answers to all of my most asked questions regarding my veneer experience. So with no further ado, let's get right into it. When determining which veneer process is best suited for you, it's really important to consider the amount of dental work you might require, what you aim to achieve, and of course your budget. I can guarantee you that either option you choose will definitely give you a rejuvenated, brighter, and more aesthetically pleasing smile. I chose to get the resin composite veneers because for me, it best suited what I was looking for. Like I was only interested in enhancing the color of my teeth. I didn't need extensive teeth work. Um, so for me, I felt that the resin composite veneers would meet my dental needs. And so that's what I chose to do. And I'm very happy that I did that. The second question that was given to me was there any pain during or after your process? So honestly, it's like people don't want to believe me when I say there was absolutely zero pain that I felt during the process and after. Like I didn't feel any pain whatsoever. The extensive research that I did for myself, a lot of people were talking about pain. So I was like, I'm not trying to be and no pain like i'm not no not for no dental stuff like no like you missed me on that i ain't want to feel no type of pain goodness gracious like i wanted it to be cute but it's just messing up my vibe right now as i mentioned earlier the resin composite veneer process was absolutely painless i didn't even require like numbing like a numbing agent or anything like that he didn't need to use that on me so i was happy like <laughs> i was coasting through like i just you know i even took a nap zero pain okay on to the next question the next question how long did it take to get your veneers done Awesome question. When I asked my doctor before I got to the Dominican Republic, I asked him how long is it gonna take? Because I wanted to plan my day, you know, I wanted to be able to do other things. So it was reasonable for me to find out how long it was gonna take. He told me it was going to take up to four hours. It was about 12.30 or one o'clock in the afternoon. He was hungry, so he told me we were gonna take a break. At that time, he at that time he completely finished my entire top row of my teeth and i was just like oh my gosh but he was just like okay let's go downstairs we're gonna eat you know we went to a little restaurant and i was just like how i be able to eat like you ain't finished with my mouth he was like mommy don't worry you're gonna be fine like you're you're gonna be able to eat trust me trust me you the one that went to dental school, so I'ma trust you. It just didn't really make sense to me. So I actually called one of my girls. I called her and I was like, I said, he's halfway finished with my teeth, girl. Look at my teeth, it's halfway done. And she was like, it looks so good. My teeth is so white. I couldn't believe that I was gonna actually eat, you know, midway through him doing my teeth. So anyways, to cut a long story short, I ate and it was weird. It was a, it was quite uncomfortable because I could feel that there was something foreign in my mouth. Like after that, we went back upstairs. So the entire process was about three and a half hours. The next question asks is, why did you go to the Dominican Republic to get your teeth done? Why did I go to the Dominican Republic to get my teeth in? <laughs> because it's way more cheaper. 
And this particular doctor was not my first pick doctor. Um, I was looking at another doctor in DR as well as another doctor in Columbia. But the first doctor was actually really, really amazing. Like I will probably still go to him if in the future for any reason, but he his work is just dope as hell. Like top notch, beautiful work, beautiful work. But his price was a little bit higher than, no, not a little bit. It was like double what my doctor charged me. Yes, double. But nonetheless, why did I choose to go to the Dominican Republic? I chose to go to the Dominican Republic because I knew that I was gonna come out with the results that I was looking for. And most importantly, I knew I was gonna save some coins, you know? I get it, some people feel like, you know, going overseas, traveling far to get, you know, cosmetic procedure, because, you know, this is considered a cosmetic procedure. They feel like getting cosmetic procedure overseas is dangerous. You know, you're putting your risk, you're putting your life at risk. Well, in my case, I felt like I put my, my, my life in good hands because I researched this doctor, I was referred to this doctor, and I feel like this doctor did a, an amazing job. Plus, it was my birthday weekend too, so like, <laughs> I killed two birds with one stone. I had a amazing birthday. It was a small little getaway, but I had a great time with my girl, and I got my teeth done, so it was like, I killed two birds with one stone and I had a great time doing it. So, don't they look good? Don't they look good? <laughs> the fifth question is, how long are they expected to last? Awesome question. I researched that resin composite veneers can last anywhere from one to five years, depending on how you take care of them. Now, porcelain veneers can last anywhere from 10 years to the rest of your life. So with just those two factors alone, most people would just be like, hands down, let me go ahead and get the porcelain since that's gonna last forever, you know? Porcelain veneers process is different and the requirement is different. And for now, I'm very content and satisfied that I got the resin composite. If you take good care of them, they can last for up to five years. We flying through these questions. The next question is, were there any restrictions after you got your resin composite veneers? So that is a really good question because when I was doing my research, you know, I don't really remember too many people mentioning anything about that. So, you know, I think it's really, really important to know like, after you get this procedure, you really do have some restrictions. It's not a lot, but it's something that you need to keep in the back of your mind. I couldn't drink no red wine, no chocolate. What else did he say? No chewing gum. So you did have restrictions for like the first one to two days. Remember, I am referencing my resin composite veneer experience, not the porcelain. So I can't speak to what the restrictions may have been or could have been or will be if you choose to get porcelain veneers. He did tell me to try to refrain from eating anything like sticky, um, like candy, Jolly Ranchers, things like that. So those were my restrictions. And like I said, it was for one to two days. I tried to stay away from them for the first three days because I just didn't want no problems. And it worked for me, so. The next question. I can't stand when my phone does this. I really need to change my setting. When it like goes off, time out. Like, no, I didn't ask you to do that. It's only been like 30 seconds. The next question. Oh my God, I, I think I got this question like five times, like no lie. I understand because I asked the dentist this like five times myself as well. So I, I understand this very valid question. Do they shave down your natural teeth? Inquiring minds want to know, right? Okay, I'm gonna put this disclaimer out there again. Cami Grace is only referencing what? her own personal experience, okay? But no, my doctor did not 
shave down my natural teeth. I'm gonna say it again for the people in the back who gonna try to question me and argue with me about this because someone was trying to argue with me at the airport. Like, yes, they do. You think they didn't do it, but they didn't. No, my doctor did not shave down my natural teeth. It is not required to shave down your teeth. He is using a resin material that is made from like the same material your real teeth is and he's creating like an overlay over your real teeth so he's going from the top of your gums to the bottom and then he even curves to do the inside like the inner part of your teeth now he does at the end shave down the resin so he typically will make it a little bit bigger than your real teeth just like the nail technician when you go and get your refill what does what do they do they make it a little bit longer and then they file down it's not necessarily filing down your real teeth it's filing down the resin material keeping that in mind you should be comfortable to know that they're not damaging your real teeth. Now, once again, every dentist is different. Every dentist mythology is different. So the way my dentist may operate and move may be completely different from the way the next dentist may decide to work on his patient. So I think it's really important to have a, have a dialogue with your dentist and let them know what your desires are and what is a deal breaker for you. Let them know what you want. It's your money, it's your teeth. You're gonna live with it for the rest of your life. So you might as well let them know what it is like that you're looking for. Like I let him know off the bat. I do not want you to damage my real teeth just to give me a wider smile. Like it, that's insane to me. Like why would I do that? Why should I do that? Why should I do that? Like, that's crazy. Not me, not me. Cameron Grace is not gonna be among those people. He even reassured me beginning that you don't even need to do that. You don't need to do that. I highly encourage you to communicate, have a rapport with the dentist of your choice and let them know what you're going for, what look you're going for, what your outcome is and what you're trying to achieve. And so that they have a understanding of how to deliver what you want. Next question is, can your veneers break, chip or crack? That's a really good question. Yes, yes, it can. In fact, <laughs> and the girl that just finished hers, she had her her tooth, her veneer cracked. And I was like, girl, I remember, I was precise. I said, girl, how the heck did you do that? Sweet, beautiful little girl too. She said that she was eating some chicken and she ate real, she bit real hard on her chicken and that's how you know. Woo! I'm not happy about this lighting. I'm not understanding why my lighting is just doing this to me right now. Like, I don't understand. Is this what we're doing? I can't even think. I can't even think. No, I'm not liking this. I have to fix the lighting and it looks so much better now. Like, can your veneers break, chip, or crack? <laughs> it's like your natural teeth. So can your natural teeth break, crack, or chip? Yes. So your resin can definitely break, crack, or chip. And quite frankly, I think the porcelain veneers could very well break, crack, or chip. So just be mindful that you do have some experience expensive set of new teeth. So, you know, certain things that you probably would have done before. I just think that you should just be more cautious. The girl that just got her teeth done before I did, she cracked her teeth. Like, I don't know how she did it. I only saw her finished results and her teeth look amazing. Hey, Josie. Her teeth look really cute. It looked really good. It was, it was very befitting for her. Just be cautious your first couple of days, maybe even up to the first week with 
the foods and the choice of things that you're putting in your mouth. Like, it's just that simple. Your teeth is not a can opener. The ninth question that was asked, would you recommend your dentist? Yes, of course. Like my dentist was Dr. Daniel. Um, I can't really pronounce his last name, but I will put it right here so you know his whole name in the event that you would like to reach out to him and get a consultation or perhaps get your own veneers done by him. He was absolutely professional. He was very pleasant. Um, he was, I mean, his English was not, you know, his English was not like an American, but he can communicate with you. So, you know, <laughs> you don't have to worry about, you know, using a Google translator, although you might, you might want to use a Google translator because English is not their first language. You know, you got to keep in mind where you're going. I went to the Dominican Republic. English was not his first language, but he, I was still able to communicate with him. Um, he understood everything I asked him. Like I said, he was very professional, customer service, A1. What I will say is he was not my first pick dentist. I was actually going to go to another dentist in DR. Um, that dentist, I'm not gonna lie, his work is top notch. Like, if I didn't ever meet Dr. Daniel, this other doctor would have definitely done my teeth, hands down. Like, his work is phenomenal. But Dr. Daniel beat the other dude out the park with his price. His price sold me. Now his work was great, don't get me wrong. Dr. Daniel, my dentist, his work was really great. I would definitely recommend him. So if you are interested in going to him or perhaps getting a quote from him, you'll be able to do that. Make sure you tell him Cammy Grace sent you, okay? And the last and final question. I know y'all really want to know this because if I tell y'all that this question wasn't the most asked question, I mean, <laughs> y'all would know I'm lying. Like, this was the most asked question, real talk. Real <laughs> Tell us, how much did it cost? Okay, so how much did your veneers cost? First of all, let's look at them. My veneers cost only 2,000 US American dollars. Yes. You heard me, 2,000 US American dollars is how much my veneers cost me. Once you get your teeth done, can't nobody tell you nothing, okay? You gonna be smiling for no reason. <laughs> you live once, so if enhancing your smile is gonna make you feel better about yourself, do it and don't wait unless you got to get your coins you know i understand you don't have to wait if it's going to enhance your self-confidence i am going to be your biggest cheerleader get it done like i hope that this inspires you to choose yourself first give yourself a reason to smile and then when you smile smile in all your glory because you are so worth it okay so thank you for tuning in to Everything with Grace. I love you guys, but I'm gonna just say this. I need you to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Like, what else are you waiting for? Tell a friend, tell a cousin, tell an auntie, tell your mama too. If you're already subscribed, thank you. I love you, but keep in touch with me on all of my social media platforms, which I will put right here. And until my next video, be well, be safe, and God bless.